Physics. Yes. How y'all doing today, folks? Uncle Mo here, sending you greetings from Planet Arcadia. Doing a little rocking out here in Eight Coins. And uh, we're going to do uh, some amping today, a little mining amping. I'm hoping to talk about, you know, just when, uh, when it's a good idea to amp, when it's not. Again, I'm kind of a newer player, so uh, what I'm throwing out is opinion based on a little bit of play. Uh, I'm on month two of playing, so I know a little bit about what I'm doing here. And uh, I've definitely read up and gotten advice from veterans, uh, done my research. So I think I have uh, a few valid opinions. As always, uh, I'll get hate mail or corrections or things like that uh, from people that know better. <laughs> Uh, speaking of, I, I, I got to do a few corrections here. Uh, it, it's pointed out to me that uh, I really didn't have a source for whether or not uh, Entropy Universe was legal in the United States or was declared legal in a court. I couldn't really find, I, I thought I had read something about that, um, but I couldn't find a source for that, so I'm going to have to retract that. Um, to, at this point, uh, the Unlawful Internet Gambling Enforcement Act has not affected Entropy Universe. Uh, that's the law that was passed in the United States that did affect online poker sites and in fact shut down three of them um, for what was basically transferring money into the United States illegally so they could pay off poker players. Um, there's uh, There's been no problem with that uh, in Entropy Universe as far as I know of. A couple of people have had trouble depositing with MasterCards that I've heard. I so far have had no trouble depositing. I haven't tried to withdraw yet. But the, any, anybody I've talked to has, d that has done withdrawals has had no problems so far. Um, also, I might have mentioned that they had their own bank. Uh, they didn't. They petitioned to get, uh, I guess, the licensing on that. And, uh, again, this is some rumors I've heard some, from some other players. Uh, they tried to get their own bank. They don't have one. They do use one exclusively, is what I believe. So uh, just another bit of a retraction there. Talked to another guy. Uh, I don't want to use his name because, uh, you know, I didn't really get permission, and uh, uh, he didn't leave his name in the comments. So I just want to keep him confidential. Uh, but uh, I had mentioned that hunting was a cheap profession to get started, uh, and, and he wanted me to point out that it, that it does really get expensive later on in game uh, with the usage of armor and amplifiers. Uh, going after the larger mobs really gets quite expensive. However. Uh, he, he did uh, stress that we could reiterate it's, it's a cheap profession to get started with if you just want to do some naked hunting with TT weapons. That that does start out cheap. You can skill up quite cheaply for, for some time, but towards the end game, it, it will get pricey. And if you really want to go after the bigger mobs, uh, those mobs that will global and hoff constantly. So, At any rate, I uh, appreciate all the uh, hate mail so far and fan mail, and uh, we've even had... Uh, couple new players that have been watching the videos so uh, welcome to Entropy Universe and also welcome to Planet Arcadia I hope the tutorials are working out for you and as always you can uh, get a hold of me in game uh, ask for advice or help or just chat that's no problem uh, today I just wanted to discuss a little bit about uh, when, to, when to use an amplifier while mining amplifiers will amplify the ore that you'll be finding, all right? Um, that's all it does. It doesn't increase the odds to find ore or increase depth or anything like that. There's, there are depth enhancers in the game. Those are much different. Uh, but your amplifiers will simply increase whatever ore you find uh, to, a bigger, uh, to a bigger size. So if you're finding tinies, it'll... A Terra 1 amp here might increase you to a very poor, which is the next size up. Uh, you can see the Terra 1 amp here, which is an Arcadian amplifier, um, has an efficiency of 4. And that's kind of what you're looking at uh, to, to get an idea of what kind of a boost you'll get size-wise. Here's a level 5 amplifier, and you'll notice the efficiency goes to 10 on this. And I've noticed that uh, if you're getting... Double eyes, triple eyes, those are your tiny and very poor sizes. Your Terra 1 amp will probably bump you up a level. This will bump you up to possibly three. But uh, uh, if, well, I'll get to this later, but if you're, if you're finding a bunch of tinies and very poor, you don't want to amp in the first place. But 
at any rate, it does give you the uh, the skills required. All right, you need, uh, for instance, to amplify while you're prospecting. Now you'll need a required level of three. You notice I obviously have more than enough to use that. And there's no skill increase bonus. Uh, no SIB. A lot of uh, weapons and finders, mining finders, they'll have what's called a skill increase bonus. That's really worthy of its own video. But if you don't have the skills to use a particular item, uh, you're going to notice the skill. This is a, the finder F105 we're using today, by the way. You'll notice here the skill increase bonus. This learning period, uh, since... I am plenty skilled to use it. It says not anymore. If you're skilled enough to use it, but not use it fully, it'll, it'll the skill increase, skill progress here will still say 100%, but the skill increase bonus learning period will say yes. And that means you're not using the finder or weapon or whatever you're using efficiently yet, but you do have the skills to use it uh, at a certain level. Uh, that Well... For, so for the finders, for instance, for the mining finders, you'll notice your average search depth is much, much lower than what this is the max. This is what it is with your skills here, this number. This is the maximum. Um, those should really be equal. Um, but I also think there's uh, certain times where you could go ahead and get away with using finders uh, where your SIB is pretty close to the max. I think there's a couple cases where it warrants using that to, to get the extra skills. So. But anyways, that's, that's probably worth a, another video by itself. Mining amps do not feature that. So once you can use it, as far as I'm concerned, as, and the people I've talked to, once you hit the required level to use that, in this case level 1 for the Terra 1 amp, you're using it at max potential. So um, I'll leave that up to your vets to agree, disagree, or uh, go ahead and post comments on that. But as far as I'm concerned, without skill increase bonus, once you hit the required level, you're good to go. So, what to look for when using amps. I, I don't believe you should amp all the time. And in fact, uh, it should be pretty rare when you would actually use one. Um, first of all, the thing, you, you, the thing you want to look for is a well-charted area. You should never use an amplifier in a mining area that you're not familiar with. And you want to make sure that uh, you've done some test runs over this area and that you're real familiar with the ore output and amp manner output of this area uh, and from that you can kind of generate an average percentage now how to do that I use a program called little big mining log a lot of miners use this I'll give you a link at it for it in the video description but it's a real helpful tool for keeping track of what ore finds you'll find and at what depth so you can generate a map it'll help you generate a map of what ores are found where and if you're in search of a particular ore or ant manor for instance you could just highlight those and go after that area or if you wanted to what I do is I'll take the the top 10 mark of ores and ant manors and just highlight those areas and and kinda see where that generates also you want to look at claim sizes too you want to be in an area that has a uh, a little bit higher claim size average, although that can vary from day to day. You can be in an area one day that'll just give you nothing but tinies and very pores. The next day, uh, you'll start out unamped, getting smalls and modestes and average sizes. Um, and uh, for those of you unfamiliar, uh, if you just do a little Googling as far as in, in Trophy Universe uh, mining claim size, that'll give you a chart uh, that should be on Entropedia. Uh, it's basically a chart that uh, the, the sign of value, uh, TT ped value to all your claim sizes, and um, what you're looking for is, well, if you hit an abundant, that's at least 50. That's your global. Uh, that's a level 13 uh, size find. At any rate, you can Google that. Uh, it's it's just kind of a helpful little chart. But um, what I'm looking for is a well-charted area. So I've, I, I'm on an area right now that is well-charted. Uh, I know there's at least two ores that will have a markup of 120% and at least two ant manors that have a markup of 120%. Unfortunately, with Planet Arcadia, a lot of areas on this map, and this is a complaint of a lot of miners here, uh, that every area you're in will spit out at least three or different ores and three different ant manors. So... 
you're always running into an issue where it's tough to build up a high average. Uh, you, for instance, you might be in an area that has uh, an ore and a net matter that will both sell for a markup of 130. But in the meantime, you're getting some other ores and net manners that are only having a markup of 105 to 110%, and it's bringing down the overall average over the area. And that seems to be a trend on Planet Arcade. It's real difficult to find spots that have a high overall markup. But they are there. There's also places on Planet Arcadia, and I, I'm, I'm sure there are in Calypso and other places, but I, I can't vouch for that. I haven't mined there yet. But there's also places where it's completely justified and, in fact, helpful for you to just mine for ore or just mine for Ant Manor because one, one or the other will have particularly high markup, whereas the other side will, will be just kind of a bunch of crap. So there's nothing wrong with amping with one or the other turned on or off. No problem there. Your amp will last longer, uh, and proportionally longer is what I'm trying to get out. Um, so that's what I'm looking for. Well charted area. The second thing I'm looking for is claim sizes. I want to do a few test bombs, about five or six of those. And I, I don't, what I don't want to see is a bunch of tiny and very poor claim sizes. I want to start out unamped with some smalls, modices, maybe some pours if they're really high markup. Um, but I want to start running into those uh, before I amp up. There, there's no sense in amping up small things. Uh, it just makes them a little bit bigger and it really doesn't help you out. You're not going to overcome the percentages that are involved with the amping, which are significant. And I'll go over those here in a minute. Um, but the third thing I wanted to get to uh, with what I'm looking for before using a mining amp is your your hit rate. Uh, how, how many how many times are you getting uh, positive hits for ores and ant matters? In other words, uh, how many fines are you getting compared to the total number of survey bombs that you're using? Um, for me, uh, here's the percentages I'm sticking with, and this is just a little bit of theory crafting. Some other miners might agree or disagree or adjust it, but I really want to be to be in an area amped. I want to have at least a 30% hit rate uh, with some above average size claims and then I'll, I'll throw ahead throw in a Terra 1 amp to get started which is your 4 efficiency amp okay if at that point things are going well and I'm still getting decent claim sizes and the, the hit rate jumps above 35% or more I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a level 5 amp which is a little bit more efficiency all right, that's really going to increase your claim sizes at that point. And so you just want to keep a, keep an eye on your percentage, all right? Um, if you have a low percentage, like 25 or less, and it's consistent, there, there's no need to amplify that. All you're going to do is amplify losses. Now, you're just not getting the TT value out of the, the, current, the ground that you're in. So uh, amps, again, they will amp your wins or amp your losses. Um, so you got to be careful on when to use them. Not to mention percentage-wise, all right? We talked about uh, percentages in some of our last videos. Um, for instance, uh, mining on average, if you spend 100 ped, you're going to get back on average about 90 ped, okay? Well, in addition, these amps also have a markup on the market, right? You're going to have to buy these things or craft them yourself. Either way, there's a markup associated with them. And for the Terra 1 amp, and the Terra 5, they're, they're in about the 11% range. So not only do you have to make up the 10% that you're already starting out losing out, now you've got to make up an additional 11%, plus uh, some other items like uh, the oil you use and uh, your finer's going to lose some TT value, little things like that. So you, you really need to come up 22 or 23% ahead of the game just to just to break even okay um, so uh, once you once you throw those amps in uh, you're not just having to make up that 10 or 11 percent anymore you're tacking on another 10 or 11 percent on top of that which makes it really tough now does that mean you, you should just always mine unamped well maybe maybe if you if you have a little bit, a little bit lower of a bankroll there's, there's nothing wrong with mining unamped. You'll still global. 
You'll get plenty of globals. I just got my first Hoff the other day. It was on amp doing doing a couple test bombs. And I found a nice 247-ped uh, Eulerium. Um, so you, you will have your bigger finds. It's, it's just going to take you longer to mine. Um, and your globals and Hoff, Hoff percentages uh, will be lower. Um, why use them at all then? Uh, I, I personally like getting the bigger stacks quicker. Uh, it makes them easier to sell on the auction house quicker. Nobody, no, none of the crafters want to buy small amounts of things. They want nice 30, 50, 100 ped stacks of items to sell. So uh, that'll help you build those up quicker. And the rest is kind of theory crafting, all right? Um, with amps, uh, it's going to help you get you, get you some more globals and hoffs to a point. Uh, personally, I think. Now, there's been people in this game that have hit uh, all-time highs and things like that unamped. Uh, so there's always a bit of randomness to this game. Uh, <laughs> so you never can tell. That, and that's that's where part of the argument lies. All right? Should you mine amped or unamped? But we're just going to do a few test runs right here. Right now I'm unamped. And I'm just going to try and see... With these, with these test runs, uh, what kind of percentages we're getting, all right? Let me move these sources for well. A lot of arguing when it comes to mining. Yeah. Everybody's convinced they're doing it the right way. And there's a lot of theories that are based on some loose math. But... You know, it, this game's not like a, a slot machine or a video poker machine where the pay tables stated right there. You never really know exactly how the loot the loot tables work in this game. There's plenty of theories out there based on some of the math, but uh, uh, again, without you know positive proof, it, you're getting down to theories. And there's a Vita Stone, which is very poor. I'm just going to suck this up real quick. So we've had uh, two misses and a Vita Stone. But that's, uh, that's only going to give you... Right, so we're at 16% so far. That's one hit out of six. Remember every bomb you drop is two hits. So you're looking for an ore in a net manner. Every time you drop one of these. So your hit rate, if you only get one every time, is 50%, not 100%. You need to be hitting doubles to get 100%. Uh, little MK1 Explorer here. We're doing some driving today. I, I, I'm horrible in the detail. I'll still use it though. That's great for mining and getting into mountainous areas that are otherwise tough to get to. But on nice flat areas like this, jump in the Explorer and run along. This is, uh, again, what you get for graduating from the mentor process. You get one of these and some nice armor. Some adjusted pixie armor that uh, works quite well here on Arcadia. This is looking bad, folks. We're at about a 10% drop rate right now. We're five bombs in. How many test bombs to do? Um, is five enough? I don't think so. Is 20 too many? Yeah, maybe. Um, I, I guess 10 is a good average. It just depends on where you're at. That's a small Vita stone. Now, Vita's got a good markup, and we're, we're at the small size now. So that's, that's a piece of what we're looking for. But not enough consistency at this point to justify an amplifier. And I am using a little big mining log to sort of help me out here, but uh, I don't think you'll be able to see it. <coughs> uh, I'd love to be able to show you a bubbler. Nice hot off here. <clears throat> That Eulerium hit was fun.
Do, do, do. It's looking kind of sad so far, folks. Yeah. So right now this is looking like not the place to be. We're at about a 12.5% hit rate. Uh, the size is only good on one of our hits so far. <clears throat> you imagine we had an amplifier at this point, okay? Now what happens when you have an amplifier in? This amplifier is worth TT value, right? And right now, this, that's the, I had a bomb news on this one, but uh, this one's worth 42.39 right now. It starts out at 45. Every time you drop this, this TT value goes down on this amplifier until it eventually reaches zero, or you know, there might be a couple ped left on it, and then you'll throw it out. This Terra 1 amps, uh, it's probably good for like 35 bombs or so if you're double bombing. Uh, the level 5 will be a little bit more, somewhere in the 49 range. Um, I, and that's just rough numbers. I got to do the exact math, but check out your, check out your level five amp. All right, this costs 200 bed, ped for the TT value. You're going to pay 222 ped or 22 and a half right now, as the market stands, just to be able to buy it. Um, after if we had this amp in right now, it'd be, probably be worth around 180. And so not only have we, have we lost our bomb value at this point, but if we had an amp in, we would have lost the value on that as well. And all we've taken in so far is 4.62 ped of Vita. So, you can, you can kind of see at that point that if you're amping and not hitting, or you're amping and, and hitting small stuff, you're, you're just throwing money away. You're not going to do well at all. Hey, a double... Let's see what we got here, folks. Pour Sully Beans in an unknown. I'm just going to grab these real quick. Yeah, this is going to turn out to be a small Vita Stone. Boo! And I'm going to go ahead and, and grab this up here real quick. Well, I, as you can see, this isn't going to get any better. It, it's time to move. I'm at uh, 10 bombs for this area. Uh, it could pick up right after this, but it, it's not looking good. All right, The sizes just aren't there. Um, so not only are the sizes not there, but the, the ratio is not there for bombs to hits. Again, I'm looking for about, once I hit the 30% rate with nice size, I'd throw in a Terra 1 amp at that point. And uh, if it's going to jump up to 35 with nice size finds after that, I'll stick with the Terra 5, or the, the level 5 amp after that. And uh, that, that's going to get you real good results, folks. And it's going to minimize your losses. Uh, and you'll never go through amps when it's just running bad. You'll always be pulling in some money using this type of system. So, uh, as a full proof, are there flaws to it? Yeah, but uh, I'm a big believer in minimizing losses. Uh, you can also just, if you just want to mine unamped, great, go for it. There, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, but I think uh, if you have the pad and you want to build up some bigger stacks and give yourselves a little bit better chance to find those bigger, bigger type hits, um, go ahead and use an amplifier. But uh, <clears throat> you really need to have a ton of pad in reserve to, to get away with using these things because um, your bigger stacks are going to sit on the market they're just going to sit there it's real tough especially on Planet Arcadia to sell these things you're not going to get rid of them for a while but it'll justify that auction house fee much easier so anyway right, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here uh, if you've got comments hate mail leave them uh, comment on the video I'll get back to you uh, as always, uh, I'm going to link these to a few forums. If you want to comment there, go ahead or reach me in game. I am Lurry Uncle Mo Nightshade. From Planet Arcadia, I'm going to sign out at this point. All right, y'all take care. Bye-bye.